Good morning, ceramics students. It is Tuesday, April 7th, and that is my daughter's birthday. So we are going to be celebrating her birthday. We're going to try to make it as special as we can, even though we really can't go anywhere. Uh, we'll go for our hike or something, make it special. All right, please remember that you always want to start out by clicking on the agenda so that it... Um, will remind you of what you need to do and I just needed to update that so I'm going to click on this and uh, last week I moved all of the assignments into a folder at the top of the uh, course and then read and review this slide and then watch the video that's embedded in the corner down here and then um, you're going to be taking 10 in progress pictures of your sculpture right now. You should be on the fifth and sixth photographs of your sculpture. And this week is a little different than last week, um, in this ever changing world and, uh, evolving, uh, state that we're in. Um, we have been instructed to basically provide all students with what the expectations are for the week and to move, move it so that all deadlines are Friday at midnight. So you do not have a deadline tonight or tomorrow or Thursday. Your ultimate deadline for this week's work is Friday at midnight, and that is what all teachers are supposed to be doing. So if you haven't heard that yet, uh, you should be hearing that from your other teachers as well. So you have all week to work on your assignments and then turn them in before midnight on Friday. So that said, you only have really one assignment this week. Um, it is going to be the assignment number five, Pixar DreamWorks Character Design. Um, this is the second work week that we've actually been working on the sculpture. And so part A is for you to continue to work on your character sculptures. And I would like you to spend about an hour to an hour and a half this week on the sculpture. And then I would like you to take at least two photographs during that process. So. Um, hopefully you are all caught up with photographs, so you shouldn't start out with a photograph, but work for about 45 minutes, take a photograph, and if you're going to do all of your work in one sitting, then um, work for another about half hour to 45 minutes and take another picture. And then both those photographs need to be uploaded to what I'm calling the eGallery Google Slideshow which is what part B is all about. Upload your photographs to the eGallery Google Slideshow um, and then make sure that you change the name of the slide so that we know that it's yours. And then next week we'll actually do a gallery walk and you'll continue to work on your sculptures after you've gotten some feedback from your peers. And then um, there will be another story time, story time number three, uh, which is always optional. You do not have to watch that video if you don't want to, uh, but it will be in the folder as well. So let's look at that folder real quick. So I'm going to minimize this. So this is an embedded part of that slideshow, and you'll see that this is changing. You cannot edit this one. You have to click on the folder, expand the folder. When you expand the folder, this is the link that you'll need to click on to edit the slideshow and then you will have you'll it'll open just like what you're seeing here you'll scroll scroll down and let's just say that you wanted to add your photographs here um so i'm going to insert a couple photographs so i'm going to go to insert image i'm going to upload and you can do that here too just in case so you can insert there or right here insert image um, and upload from computer and I'm going to go to my downloads because that's where most of your uh, stuff is going and then it's not letting me see what I'm doing here so let's just see what happens when I click on that one yeah uh, I can't remember whose image this is I apologize I've been looking at a lot of artwork um, but there's one, and if I was going to upload a second one, I would go ahead and let's upload this one and put it here. And I'm just making it a little bit smaller so that 
the image fits on the page you just click on the corners and drag them in or down and it makes it so that it is the about the same size as the other one maybe a little bit thinner okay and then right here is where you need to change your name so i can't remember whose this is um so i'm just gonna say i'll put who here or which which student question mark you can see that you can modify that as well okay so i'm just kind of showing you how and where to edit the slideshow and then um let's go back to the folder and then you'll see that there is an assignment number five um you do not have to necessarily put the photographs in here um, but it would help me if, for grading purposes if you did also put your photographs here. So it's just a repeat of what's on the other slide as far as what's expected for this week. Shouldn't take you too long. Many of you are doing such a great job that you should be able to do this without anything, uh, any problems. And then if you scroll down, you'll notice that you do see story time one, story time two. And if you didn't get a chance to enjoy story time two, You'll notice that if you click on that and open it, I now have a video of me reading the uh, story Beekle. Some of you, I believe I read this to, some of uh, you I didn't, but I thought it was very appropriate because these are, um, you know, different characters, unimaginary friends, if you will. And so I think that that's a wrap. That pretty much does it. So in review, if we go back to the slide, and just expand it again real quick. The only assignment that you have this week is to work on your sculpture, continue to work on it for about uh, another hour and a half. That is just letting me know that I spent uh, seven minutes on this video, which is exactly where I wanted to be. Um, so work an hour and a half on your sculpture, take two photographs during that process, upload those photographs to the Google Slideshow and to the assignment. I will probably update this to say that so that it's, you basically have to upload the photographs in two different uh, places if you would, but if not, I'll make sure that I get you graded just fine. And then there will be a story time and it will be posted by Friday of this week. I hope you are all blessed. I hope that your family is happy, healthy, and safe. And, um, I look forward to seeing your characters keep up the great work.